Yeah, it's true. My men, like I, 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 I spoke to an organisation a while back called Dads in Distress, and it was basically dads who had been blocked from seeing their kids, you know. And it was always, um, and I at the time had two kids of my own. I tried to somehow put myself in the dad's situation, but it's impossible to until it's happening. Actually, happens to you. You, you got no right to even presume what they're going through. I, I couldn't think of anything worse than not being able to see my kids, you know, for some reason. Um, so maybe that's an underlining f fact why I make my relationship with my wife a happy one and joyous one, um, and always, always, you know, doing different things with her. And that was never the case when I was playing footy. It was always about me. Um, the fact that um, our roles as dads have changed, where now we can, a lot of times in work we can pick and choose jobs and what hours we can do but back in the day it was you'd be in the factory at six o'clock and you'd be there till six o'clock at night uh, and and then dad would work dad, then he'd go to a be a uh, security guard at some place for four five hours and get home at midnight and and get back up at five thirty. so i don't comprehend that that to me is unbelievably ludicrous but that's how people lived back then well, some people still have to do it now poor bastards you know i I, I, even though I'm on, I'm, I'm still in the western suburbs. I'm on the M4 at quarter to four in the morning when there's no cars. But you s then I'm driving back along the other way at eleven o'clock. I'm going, and there's still twenty k's of traffic, which people got to go through. Quality time with your kids is so so hard to get, and when you get it, you've got to you've got to bottle it up and, and try and make the most. I think sometimes what dad, some dads who don't get enough time with their kids try and do is too much instead of just listening to what their kids want to talk about you know a lot of kids you a lot of dads i know use their their phones and their ipads and their playstations as their babysitters well that's never going to end in ha happiness you know that's, that's all everything's good in you know it's always good to give your kid what they want but all they want is you in the end that's all my kids want when they're when they're troubled they want to hear that i'm a reassuring voice when they've got a, a maths problem that I don't know, I just give it to their mum. <laughs> I'm hopeless. When I can help them out without, like my my middle daughter's right, the only kid, only one of my kids who's got another interest outside of sport, and it's photography. You know, so I went down and got a great camera. She went and done some unbelievable photography at school, and she's been, um, sub, sub, a couple of the photos have been submitted for prizes. It's it's because I listened to her. I, I, you know, I listened to what she wanted to do. She said, don't want to be a photographer. I said, well, babe, let's help. How, what, are, what have I got to do to help you? She goes, well, I need a camera. <laughs> I said, can't you do it on your phone? She goes, no, not these days you can't. Not the way I want to do it. So, um, you know, being a dad in 2014, even compared to when I was a dad in 1995 for the first time, has changed dramatically. 